It is one of the most joyous events in my courtroom. Judge Barbara Meter has presided over many adoptions. So when she learns about adoption fraud, it upsets her. That's very sad. It's very distressing. That should not happen to people. Today, she told us how people looking to adopt can avoid being scammed. Are you dealing with a licensed agency, adopting agency, and are you dealing with a licensed attorney? A licensed attorney like Christopher Swartz. There's nothing wrong with them trying to find birth parents on their own, but once they do find those birth parents, they, they need to establish the legal ties to make sure everything flows legally. Christopher Swartz specializes in adoption law. He told us the one thing prospective parents should be aware of when dealing with a birth mother. Our red flags go up right off the bat when, when uh, a birth mother's first concern is well, I need money. Swartz says he makes sure if any money is exchanged for things like living expenses, it goes through the proper channels along with receipts. Swartz also tells us a face-to-face -face meeting with a birth mother increases the chance an adoption will go smoothly. You might as well meet beforehand and look each other in the eye and... Um, like with this adoption fraud case that went through, make sure that she's actually pregnant. As for Meter, she tells us people should not be afraid to adopt as long as they do their homework. It is an involved process, but it certainly is not a process that people should shy away from if you want to adopt a child. Reporting in Saginaw County, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.